do now? Actually, it's Donna. Whatever you're imagining, you can find it at Temple and Webster. Shop furniture and homewares online. Temple and Webster. Imagine. There are some things in life you might regret. And there are some things you don't. Pay the same price at every Honda Centre in your state or territory. Plus get five scheduled services for $199 each as standard. You don't regret a Honda. Tonight, Donald Trump shot. He's going down! The world rocked by an assassination attempt on the former president. Destruction in North Adelaide, a man accused of a bizarre and violent two-day rampage. An innocent man set upon in the northern suburbs shopping centre. The hunt for his young attacker. A shocking crash on Anzac Highway. How did the driver survive this? And the power on the verge of falling out of the eight, just as Adelaide has something to crow about. Life. Well, it was once the centre of business in Adelaide and a building that survived not just one, but two major fires. On flashback tonight, when Adelaide had its own stock exchange. For 90 years, it was a hive of activity where South Australian fortunes were won and lost. There was a viewing room on the upper level where you could look over the trading floor and it was packed. But in 1982, tragedy struck. Feynman believed it started in the basement and there are indications that it had been smouldering for some time before the interior of the building erupted into flames. I remember walking past it and the roof had fallen in and made a complete mess. This is how the old trading floor used to look. This was the scene after the blaze. Video terminals and telephones melted into blobs of plastic and filing cabinets full of records have been either destroyed or damaged by water. The exchange building first opened in 1901 and was considered a significant landmark. Well, at the time, it was one of the few buildings of this stature that was built uh, in that Federation style. Award-winning architect Dennis Harrison knows the building well. He's responsible for the way it looks today, a key member of the team that restored and repurposed the exchange as a centre for science. The government bought the building in 2007. We started work on it almost immediately and it was opened in 2009. The Duke of Kent made a grand entrance before taking to the stage. I officially opened the Royal Institution of Australia. While most of the tenants have since moved out, it's still home to the Australian Science Media Centre run by Susanna Elliott. Their office is where the exchange's public viewing gallery used to be. We imagined the journalists and, and the public used to sit up here watching over the stock exchange boards and hearing the noise. But back in 1982, there was uncertainty about the building's future. Firemen were quick to return to the gutted shell to secure what's salvageable of the roofing and remove that which was dangerous. It was the second blaze to engulf the building. The first was in 1938. And amazingly, in both, this treasured William Morris stained glass window survived. It's highly valued and fortunately was never affected in the two fires. It's hard to believe that any share trading could ever take place here again. But it did and incredibly quickly. Now eight months and one and a half million dollars later the stock exchange is ready to return to its refurbished home. Uni students invaded the exchange in 1988 to protest against the introduction of HEX. More than a hundred of the students managed to storm the building. Trading had just finished for the day as the students took over, pushing home the point that they wanted corporations and not students to foot the bill for tertiary education. These boards in what was once the trading floor, a reminder of what went on here. And there was a walkway along here where there was a young man who used to go through and chalk in all the latest figures. Among the chalkies, a young footy star called Stephen Kernahan. Five years after he moved to play for Carlton, the Adelaide Stock Exchange closed. It ceased trading in 1991. Uh, when things went electronic. The building said to be haunted, although Susanna's not buying into that. I've never seen a ghost in the building, and of course being the Science Media Centre, we don't believe in ghosts. But after all that history, it could well be true. Money, money, money. <laughs>
Time for sport now, and Tom, what a wasted opportunity for the power on the Gold Coast. Yeah.